Hi, I'm filling in for uh, Coach Schaefer today. He was out six, so he asked me to uh, step in and uh, and kind of catch you up to speed. We actually start our our first meet this uh, Friday morning at 9 a.m. over at Founders Park. Uh, we're gonna looks like we've got a three-team meet between us, Black Hills and Shadron. Uh, the men will run a five-mile race. The women will run a three-mile course there. Uh, Black Hills was finished to pick to finish uh, seventh in the RMAC on both the men's and women's sides, uh, and Shatteron is is down about 11th and 12th uh, based on last year's finishes in, in their first season of cross country in the RMAC. Uh, the course record holders are, are Tyler Knack, who's a, a school of mines uh, runner. He's a Richard Jr. for us this year, and uh, and then Ashley Rison out of Shatteron, and, and so we're looking forward to seeing what they can do. We've got a pretty young squad this year. Uh, we've got 12 freshmen uh, between the men and women, six six on each side. So uh, it should be an interesting race. Uh, as far as the freshmen go, uh, we're looking forward to seeing what uh, Sam Patzer and Grant Cameron can get done for us. And on the women's side, uh, we've actually got three that I think will be be right up toward the front for us in Maggie Vinton, Therese Frells, and Cassidy Knudsen. Uh, as far as our returners go, uh, the ones to watch will definitely be Tyler Knack again. Um, Tyler was our was our number one runner a couple years ago, and then redshirted for us this last year. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing what he can get done. Our number two runner from that was and was primarily our number one last year. Travis Boos is taking an internship down in Golden, Colorado. So we'll be without him for this year, but he'll be back next year ready to go. And then uh, a couple others to watch will be uh, Justin Slattery and Eric Hahn. Uh, the biggest thing that we're looking forward to this year is just kind of seeing how those battles unfold for the top seven spots. Uh, when we go to our to the majority of our meets, we can race the whole team. When we get to the region meet, we're only allowed to race our top seven. And so we're looking forward to seeing who emerges over the course of the season. Uh, for the most part, um, you know, there were there were a couple that that probably weren't weren't as healthy as we would have liked to have seen. But most of the most of what we've seen seems to be a little more of the injury bug than than actual fitness issues. What do you see as the biggest challenge for You know, the biggest challenge for us is honestly going to be going into that region meet, and it's going to be difficult for us to prepare for that because um, four out of the uh, top eight teams at last year's national meet on the men's side and the women's side come out of the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference and the Southwest region. And so for us, that's going to be the most difficult challenge is trying to match up with them. Uh, the plus to having so many teams, so many strong teams come out of our region, though, is that we also get additional qualifying spots at the national meet. Uh, and so our region actually gets six qualifying spots on the men's side and six on the women's side, which is more than any other region.